So I guess this can be a follow-up on the Daivu Lanos, uh, replacing the cars on the driver and the passenger side. And I'll be using universal switches. So what I have set up at the moment is just connecting a piece of wire to the negative terminal on the car battery. Because I need to put the relays that I'll be using to the car door and I need to check if there is actually a signal. How can you do that? Well, basically, these two cables, both of them, are connected to the car battery, the negative terminal. I'll be using the multimeter. The multimeter will be set to this icon. So beeping or diode mode. And once you connect the two leads together, and we have a beeping sound. So this is what we want to hear and that will mean that we have a connection. Now we will have to take the panel off to get to the metal part and in this case I only have this exposed and this does not conduct electricity meaning this is no good if I want to get a signal to the negative wire. Now I'll just peel this protection off and we do see two screws what do they hold i think these to hold the window contraption so not the motor itself but the installation that carries the window up and down now i don't have anything with me that i could position the camera easily and also do the measurements but basically what I'll do is I'll put one lead, maybe this one, to the screw and the other one to the wire. And if we hear a beeping sound, it means it's all good. And we will hear it, but when I touch the paint, we won't hear anything. So that is the issue. You will need to make a hole into the Dura panel to get the connection so that you can ground the relay well you only need to do that if the wires that are coming out of the connections in this case i have three wires none of them negative i have for motor up or down and this is the positive lead that is currently not being connected anywhere but it comes from the driver side to this side now if i also had a negative wire i would not need to do this but because I don't, I do need to do it. Actually, look what I have. I hope you'll see something, maybe also hear something. What I'll do is I'll connect one lead to one wire. I can also do it on both, because both of them go to the negative terminal on the car battery. And the other terminal will get connected to the screws. Do you hear the beep? I hope you do. But now if I just touch the paint, nothing. This is isolated. So this is why we have to make a hole. But now the question is, how long do the screws have to be? Because this window will go up and down. And my answer to that would be as short as possible while still making sure that the screws will hold. And ideally, you will also put a nut on the opposite side, if you can get to that position. Now in this case, this will go something like so. And I need to put two relays, like this one, maybe one on this side, and the other one on the other side. Yeah, they could also be like this so i have more leeway with the wires now before i do let me just go over the pins which i didn't do in the previous video because i didn't have the relay in my hand well i didn't have it in my hand because i didn't have it we now have pins 85 and 86 we'll connect one of them doesn't matter which one to the ground in this case the door frame and the other one will go to the switch and you need two relays because one will be for the up and one will be for the down 
now by default as you can see when this is not connected to anything or rather when you don't push a switch it goes from 87A to 30 and 87A will also be the ground and when you do push a switch this will move it to 87 and 87 will be 12 volts so the current battery basically and once you do the pin 30 will go to the output and this will go to the motor now this wire will go from one relay to one wire of the motor so in this case I have I believe the yellow one and then I have I think the blue one the other side so one will be for the up and the other one will be for the down now to make sure this actually does what it says so if I now connect the multimeter to pin 87A and 30 87A being the middle one and 30 being this bottom one we should hear a beep which we do not well we do not hear anything because I turned it off so now if I connect this to pin 30 and pin 87A we have the connection we have the beeping so by default because we have no electricity we have this connection opened so this will go to the ground the pin 87A which is the middle one and the pin 87 will be the positive and previously I've used relay that's meant for electronics this is not safe when you deal with voltages in the car and also the amps so that is why I wanted something like this so I can simply plug it into the relay and then put a bunch of connectors on the end of the wires a few moments later so this is finally done it took a lot longer than just making the wiring diagram when you have to make it yourself with a bunch of clips and do that well it takes a long time this should work I have the two diodes here one comes from this switch the other one comes from the other side both of them in this case should move the window up so this goes the signal goes to this relay it will activate it and the pin 30 which is this blue wire will go to the yellow wire and the yellow wire is also down here on the motor connector and the other one is the blue this blue wire will get activated by the second relay which should go in this case down so we have a bunch of power wires one to this relay the other to that one this one is the power that comes from the driver side and then this one goes to the switch now this is the last thing that I've done it was the ground for the switches and I also had to hook it up to one of the bolts so I took this bolt out and add this in so now I should also have the ground here now I did check the ground to so this bolt also has the ground because it is going directly to the chassis now the last relay what I didn't cover so both relays have either the pin 58 or 86 go to the ground which is the chassis also the ground the black wire goes to the chassis this is going to the bolts so each relay is bolted with the yellow and black wire to the chassis and then lastly the signal which in this case is this yellow one also has two diodes as you can see one diode is for this window the passenger one and the other comes from the driver side now if everything works so let me give the ignition test all of the wires to see if anything is overheating if it is 
you have an issue and you should immediately turn off the ignition so this is good let's see I'm not really sure I think this light does turn on but it is really faint so let's see the window goes down it does and it doesn't hit the two bolts that I've put inside the door panel so this should be now test number two check the wires again make sure nothing got hot and don't touch any of the live wires when doing this so make sure you have everything isolated as it should be now the test on the driver side door first if this window works it does and now this one and this one also works nice the only thing that I might have an issue with is when I put everything back I will first disconnect this connector and leave it as is then I'll put the door panel on hopefully the relays won't get in the way so I can actually connect it and then I'll simply put this back into the connector once the panel is on otherwise I would have a huge issue wiring all of this mess up while the connector was connected to this switch and now finally the job is well done that's it for this video we'll do something else in the next one like fixing this car startup issue